So I'm currently based at the Barcelona Supercomputing Center. We can see in this image um, the Mary Nostrum 4 supercomputer, which um, serves to produce uh, digital solutions across many sectors of society. We have um, four different departments, including life sciences. And last year I established the Global Health Resilience Group in the Earth Sciences Department. Next slide. So we are an interdisciplinary interdisciplinary group of scientists uh, looking at ways that we can best translate the wealth of knowledge that we have available to us um, from climate products and satellite images into useful and actionable indicators that can be used to help guide interventions on, on the ground to build resilience to a range of different health outcomes, including, for example, mosquito control. Next slide. Uh, this is just a demonstration of um, some of the kind of products and data sets we use. This is from an article that we published describing our approach in the Lancet Countdown Collaboration, uh, which is a collaboration tracking the impacts um, of climate change on health across uh, many different um, sectors. And in Working Group 1, we use particularly reanalysis products um, combined with different bits of information to help us understand um, hazard exposure and vulnerability to define these different uh, climate sensitive indicators. Um, so our group particularly focuses on developing these indicators for diseases like malaria, tick-borne disease, leishmaniasis, um, dengue and other arbor viruses. But of course, there are challenges um, with knowing which data sets you can use in which parts of the globe and also uh, dealing with these kind of gridded products in small islands, for example. Next slide. So this is just an overview of some of the different um, projects and products that we're developing in the team. So we work on developing um, early warning systems for climate sense infectious diseases, particularly for dengue. Um, we're partners of the DEMOS project, which produces operational dengue forecasts in Vietnam from one to six months ahead. And we're currently developing this uh, framework in the E for Warning um, project, which uh, William, who's also in the room, is involved in. Uh, we have another project uh, funded by the Wellcome Trust uh, to build digital infrastructure to be able to efficiently harmonize multi-source data sets uh, with a focus on uh, climate change hotspots, um, in particular in cities, highlands, the Amazon and small islands. So trying to develop these toolkits to allow people to bring together these disparate data sets from disease surveillance to land use and land cover and also uh, using strategically collected data from weather stations and drones to help us devise algorithms to improve the quality of the um, gridded data sets that we are using. We also have another project called ID Extremes, where we're developing um, an R software package to allow users to easily integrate different uh, climate indicators and um, explore their interactions to see how that can impact um, the probability of outbreaks of different climate sense infectious diseases. Um, and I'm currently the director of the Lancet Countdown in Europe, where we're tailoring uh, the global indicators for the European uh, stakeholders and many of these indicators feed into the European Climate and Health Observatory host, um, hosted by the European Environment Agency. Next slide. Uh, we've published um, research uh, documenting different uh, modeling approaches to understand how things like El Nino events, including the current event um, that's evolving in the Pacific and different extreme events can um, impact the distribution and timing of outbreaks of dengue and leptospirosis. Right. So we've worked with... Yes? Sorry, time, time to conclude. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we've worked with different partners in Ecuador, Brazil, Vietnam and other places. Next slide. And our work has also fed into different policy reports. Here's an example of one published by the EEA and another by the World Meteorological Organization. Thank you very much.